Y'all saw that? I'm so afraid of God. Why don't you fear God? Why don't you fear God? Uh, shower shelves by Kia. <laughs>
back hurt. I didn't even bother to deal with my, um, you know, let me get myself together. Y'all saw that? I'm gonna make a smoothie. So I'm gonna show you what I've been um, using lately to put in my smoothie. I got this Earth Champ Organic Vegan Protein Shake Mix. I had to use it before I tell y'all about it because I don't want to steer nobody wrong. But it's so good. So, make it with me. For my liquid, I use water. Plain old water. And then I use two scoops of the mix. I got chocolate. Come on, guys. So this is my second time using a protein powder. Last time I had a protein powder, it was about a year ago, and um, I didn't like the taste of it, so it just kind of sat on top of my refrigerator for like a year until um, I finally threw it away. It's only 120 calories for two scoops, and there's no added sugar. Love it, and it tastes good. You don't have to make yours in a smoothie like I did, a fruit smoothie like I did. Yesterday I had water and I mixed it with the um, protein, with the two scoops, and I just shook it up. So you can have it in your little, your little um, I, what do they call those? The protein, the shake with the ball inside of it. You can do one of those, but I just used my frother and I just mixed it up and I drank it down real fast. And it was good. Mine tastes like chocolate. They have other flavors like vanilla. I think they have vanilla chocolate. I want to say strawberry. I think they have vanilla chocolate and strawberry. But anyways. Yep. That's it. If you're already on a, um, a different protein shake, you should try this one. Because it's actually good and it keeps me full. Yesterday I had one early in the morning and I had a coffee too, of course. And um, I didn't get hungry until about 2, 2.30. I had a salad and a piece of chicken. I had a salad and two pieces of chicken. And I was full for the rest of the day. I didn't eat nothing else the rest of the day. This is a, this is a small vegan company made in Ireland. No added sugar, no added salt, no GMO, no gums, no gluten, no soy, no dairy. 
that's the type of stuff I need in my body. I am trying my best to start living a more healthy life. I'm not the best at it right now, but I'm doing my best. And taking small little steps towards, you know, changing small things has been helping me stay motivated, at least. So, these little morning things I've been doing lately just, you know, helping me stay motivated. So, thank you, Earth Chimp, for riding with me. And you can check out my discount code or you can check out my link to try to get you some hello all right hi boo kids i'm about to sit here real quick playing out some stuff should i go back in my room why well, i'm like that i'll be back it's 10 30 i just got a package from um timu i have no clue what this is I have no clue what this is, but um, I don't even know what this is. Oh, is this? Oh, this is the um. I ordered the racks for the bathroom so that I could put this in the corner of my bathroom, my shower. Oh, is this the same thing? This look like the racks too for the bathroom. You never really know what you what, what you get with Timo. Timo like you never know. I swear. You got the nerve to be stuck. Yeah, this is why did they send it <laughs> two different ways? I don't know, but here it is again. All right. It's been a couple hours. I'm about to put these bathroom things up. I'm going to try one first because. Yep. I done begged, pleaded, and borrowed. Well, begged and pleaded about a job and. Sorry. I had an interview tomorrow. Um, I just don't have time to, I don't have time no more to waste on, you know, trying to get the DOT and everything, but it's a driving job. Not go tell where it's at, but it's a good paying driving job. I called them and cried. Please. <laughs> Please. Where do I even put the camera in here? See, this is what I be talking about. Don't fall in the toilets, please. Okay. Like that? Because why is this here? Maybe I should just get one of them rods and put it here. Because we ain't never had one of these. Things, but. Now, I done... How the hell does this work? Oh. Oh, y'all saw that? I was about to break the shit. I can't do nothing because I don't read. Should I have cut them? These need to be. Oh, no. Or do they go like this and that? Okay, look. I'm going right on that line. I can't believe I'm a, it's upside down. Oh my God, I put it upside down. Oh my goodness. Damn, I'm a dumbass. All right, we're gonna put one right here. Do everything like half ass. Well, not half ass, just wrong. And then, oh my goodness. Don't be jealous of my new bathroom. Like, don't even do it. Don't even do it. It's only one left in there. Don't be like, why you been in? Can you do it?
Can I put it upside down again? Hey, because don't say nothing now. Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh my goodness. Hold up. Uh oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Okay now. I can't believe I did that. It was actually quite easy, but I mean. to install your bathroom things hundred dollar charge uh bathroom bathroom shelf uh shower shelves by kia <laughs> give me i get them shower shelves i install shower shelves y'all it's my business that's my business I'm so excited about my dad's um, surprise birthday party. I hope nobody told him because he is acting a little weird like he knows something. He think we're going to see Marlon Wayans. He think we're going to see Marlon Wayans. I can't believe I did that. Just let me know if y'all need me to do y'all's. do this for a living for a living for a living oh my gosh that is so cute see very demure let me see if the rod those rods I bought fit right here can film I can just like move the stuff when I'm filming put the camera right there or something like that just so you can get like a hair washing video or something I don't know about shower routines I don't know how I feel about those so I uploaded an entire vlog and I forgot to add the sound. So now I'm redoing it. Yeah, but excited about my interview tomorrow. They already had me set up a, a um, he had me set up a, I'm so, first of all, let me apologize. Let me apologize. 
now I'm starting to see why people say don't tell your moves like don't tell your moves until you until they actually there um, because I feel like I'm taking y'all through like this roller coaster of bad mistakes and that's not my intent but I was so excited about the RTA I probably should have just kept it to myself until I actually knew well, you know, I'm, I've, I've, I have a commercial license. We have to take a DOT once a year. We have to have a year. I've always had a yearly DOT when I was driving. When I started cleaning, I didn't have one for a while. Once I stopped cleaning, though, I stopped moving a lot. So I've gained the weight. I am so embarrassed to be this size. But to get rejected a DOT card, a medical certificate, because of my weight has been, I thought, when the DLT got the, the, the doctor who performed my DLT, when he told me I was 318, I thought that was like my awakening. But being denied a, a year certificate because of health issues, like you're saying I have health issues? Probably the scariest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Like if this don't make me want to do better, I just absolutely have to lose this weight. But I'm just apologizing for constantly going, give, putting y'all on this roller coaster ride of my failures, especially when it comes to jobs, jobs interviews, and oh, I got this job, I got this job. I was supposed to do, I was supposed to do onboarding with um, with the school, with the school, and then when somebody told me about you know, the RTA position, I just went for it. Like, I'm so tired of, I feel like I'm making bad decisions because I'm desperate. Like, I'm desperate to not fall behind again. So I took a job, a, a, a job that I knew wasn't good, but it was just, can you start today? Can you start now? We'll give you daily pay and all of this. So I went for that position and it wasn't a good position. So now I'm stuck making less money than what I know I can be making. And um, bills is running up. They running up on me. They running up on me like so. Um, so I apologize because it was. Oh, I'm so excited about the RTA. I can't wait to start the RTA. I didn't know that I wasn't gonna pass the DLT, and that's so embarrassing. And I probably should cut it out and then just stop talking about it. But um, you know, you deserve you deserve an honest, you know, YouTuber. So. That's what happened. Um, I pretty much, they only gave me a three month certificate till December 16th for my medical card because my weight and height says that I am at a certain amount of obesity. I'm obese, that's what it says. Um, I hear over, I've heard over, overweight my whole life. I've never heard of obese, but um, yeah, I'm obese. And and I actually will feel like I've been obese because obese is like a hundred pounds over your no your supposed to be limit right and I think at my age and weight I should be one seventy or something like that you you're not supposed to be two ninety you're just not supposed to weigh this with this much I'm actually I'm actually two ninety six so um, yeah I just want to lose weight and I want to go back down to how I was and just I was happier and healthier but to actually miss out on a job opportunity um because of my weight it's just very disheartening it's, it's it's heartbreaking but the opportunity is still there he let me know like he was like just take your test whenever you can get your physician do this the RTA is always going to be here they do um they do this monthly and blah 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 but he told me the moment I get my DOT I'm still going to be on record as long as my license is good and I can get a year certificate, then I can I can start. He said he'll give me a start date the moment I get a year certificate DOT. So what I what I feel like I have to do is I have to wait for Metro rating, wait for them to call me, wait for me to get rated, wait for my physician and do all of that. And I feel like after I'm working with money coming in and my own vehicle and stuff, it shouldn't take. I sh I should I should be done with that within maybe 45 days I have it but 
I'm sorry. I apologize for constantly going up and down with y'all. Y'all on a roller coaster of failure with me. And I don't want to take nobody on me to to collect in my heels. So very disappointed, but yeah. That's about it right now. Um we're going to do this room. I'm not going to change the room around. I'm just going to do the makeover aspect. I want to real bad. Should I just pop these nails off and just get to it? But um, I feel like in order for me to do a full, I just really have to do something about that floor. I don't like my carpet at all. Um, so I'll have it figured out by tomorrow. I can't keep telling you this might be the vlog, this might be the vlog, this might be the vlog, I do this, this might be the vlog. I don't even think I opened up this vlog. It's too late now. <laughs> Y'all know how it is, it's too late now, but uh, we'll see. I might do a full room makeover, but not change much around. It might be time though, I think the sun, the hot weather is gone. I think the hot weather is gone. I gotta drop box this. But yeah, so I'll keep you posted on what I do today. Let's talk. Let's talk. All right, well, I'm gonna try to keep this as positive as possible because I myself am, um, I'm, I'm tired of negative stuff. I don't want nothing else negative in my life. That's why I delete people constantly because I just I, I'm just tired of the negative stuff all the time but um maybe there was some type of confusion so I'm not going to get too deep into the comment that was made I'm just going to clarify a few of the things that was said in in the comment the net the comment was pretty nasty excuse my hair he got here early so I had to take off like this and I got an interview in about an hour maybe an hour and 20 minutes so i need to hurry up and get back home so i can do my hair and then get to the interview like the interview was right by my house so um yeah but um I, I got a place closer to my house just in case i don't have a car um but okay back to what i was back to what i was about to say um please don't fall all right so um the comment was like um now it's not the time to be throwing no party for your dad. She said that I was trying to get a fundraiser, like a fundraiser for my dad at the party. Um, I didn't say none of that in the vlog, so I don't know where, like where that, the fundraiser part came from or none of that. Oops. I said, if you want to come to the party, show up, if you want to come to the bar and, you know, hug on my dad or pin a dollar on my father or something like that. That's just what people do on birthdays. You don't have to give anything to my dad. You don't have to give anything to me. And I feel like I'm constantly saying this and I just feel like, I just feel like people that I was just saying in the last vlog, how I always, how I don't like people doing stuff for me because it comes off like it's charity. And that's how it's because of people like that. So I'm not going to block you. I'm not going to block you. Um, not go block you, weird head, dum dum, Miss Delusional. I'm gonna keep you on this page until you say something else nasty, and then I'm gonna cuss you out, and then I'm gonna block you. But for now, I'm not gonna keep blocking everybody who say something like that because that's probably why I ain't growing. I block a hundred people a day. Um, but Miss Callie Rose got her together in them comments. Trust me, got her all the way together, honey. But she said, she was like, your father needs to grieve. Your father needs to grieve. Um, your, why don't your father just get a part-time job? All types of stuff she was talking about. So this is me clarifying it. I'm very protective of the people I love. You, you, you know this, you know this. My father has a job. My father has a great job. The only time I asked for help for my dad was when his wife died and he stopped working. He was out of work for two weeks. He went right back to work. He went right back to work. My father doesn't need any help. My father don't need a part-time job. My father has a really good job and he's a DJ. You know what, that's not even the point. But she said, why don't your father just get some type of work or a part-time job or something like that? And my father has a job. My father have a job and my father is a DJ. And this is not something that's new to, to people. Um, if you didn't know that, you just 
probably wasn't paying attention. But also, if you didn't know, that's probably why you didn't speak on it. But so you, it's common sense at our age, and I'm sure you're older than me, <coughs> to not speak on things you're not sure of. But my father has a really good job, a really good job, and he's been there for years he's been there for years okay so no my dad don't need to do better with his life and my dad and I know my father I've known my father for 38 years and you don't know my father at all so you telling me what I should do to help my dad grieve does what for us it does absolutely nothing for us I know my dad she said everything don't have to be a turn up and stuff like that and my father has never my father never had a surprise party my father has been through hell this year hell on top of hell hell on top of hell imagine if I was going through hell because I lost my grandmother and my stepmother but he just lost his mother and his wife so my father has been through hell. So I want to throw my dad a party. I want to give him this surprise party. And it's free. And I said that in the vlog. It's absolutely free. I'm not paying for it. PJ not paying for it. PJ's cousin has a bar. And he let us get the party room. He said if nobody books it on that day, y'all can get the day for free. That's exactly what we said. So we had to wait it out. And once he let us know nobody booked it yet, y'all can get it. So it's a free party. I'm not paying for nothing. The only thing I thought about paying for was the food i said i was gonna cook i literally said i was gonna cook it was the only thing i was that that i was thinking about doing to, to spend any type of money and i even said that i wouldn't even go be able to do that like i don't have it i don't have it i don't know why y'all why do people why are people mad at me because i'm struggling why are you so mad at me because i'm struggling i don't understand that you act like i'm your you act like you act like i'm making you struggle because you watching me struggle i don't know you don't have to watch me i'm sorry y'all. i'm getting so upset i hate when people talk about stuff they have no i hate when people speak on stuff they don't know it is okay to ask it is okay okay to ask me ask 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 me just ask me all you gotta do do your father work um what's going on with this it's okay to ask these questions but don't just come in my comment section or on, 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 on a, a whole channel created for me to show my life and my struggles and tell me about myself tell me about my father because half the stuff you said you big dummy was false it was false. The the lady said, the lady said, why would you throw him a party? Why don't you just take him to dinner? Cause bitch, I ain't got no money. I'm broke. I've seen people struggle a lot. I've seen people struggle and in and, and other instances. I've seen other YouTubers struggle. I've seen people in my family struggle and I never, I never kicked them. And I feel like I'm constantly being kicked. She even said at the end, and as for the writers, you guys should stop doing stuff for her. Stop doing this. Stop doing that. Like, she just kind of got on the writers like, well, y'all need to stop buying her stuff. And kind of like a, as if I needed to learn a lesson or something like that. At this point in life, I've been through more things that you, than you could ever imagine. Ever imagine. But one thing I've never struggled with was paying my bills. One thing I've never struggled with was losing contracts, was losing two people. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm losing right now. I'm, I'm constantly losing. I am losing. And I'm trying my best to keep my head above float. I don't need no imaginary bitch telling me. <clears throat> telling me about my life telling me the things that are wrong Things that are wrong. why don't you just take him to dinner because bitch i don't have no money you pay for it if you want my daddy to go out to eat bitch pay for his meal because i don't fucking have it and he know i ain't got it and uh, throwing him a free party though a free birthday party i don't have to do nothing but show up you're an idiot i'm sorry you're an idiot you're an idiot it didn't get hot in here. Y'all done made me hot. Please don't be mad at me. Please don't be mad at me. Why no matter what I'm going through, God will always bless me. God will keep me above water. God keeps me above water. And the reason y'all say anything to people all the time is because you don't fear God enough. How do you talk to people any type of way without feeling like God is going to reap? 
God is going to humble you. Do you understand? I fear God so much. I am so afraid of, of what God can do to me. I'm so afraid of God. Why don't you fear God? Why don't you fear God? Why do people treat each other terribly? Terribly. I get nasty comments every single day. I ignore it. I ignore it. But don't talk about my dad. Don't talk about my dad. Hey. Let me turn. I don't know why I didn't do this before I started filming. All right. Um, so I went to the post office when I got back from my interview. Everything went fabulously. I'm not speaking on nothing, though, until I start working. That's all I'm going to say. But um, I'm tired of talking on stuff, and then it's just not working out for me. <clears throat> um, I opened up most of the stuff because I didn't want to... I am a crier. Uh, I'm just, I've always been a crier. I didn't want to be on camera crying. I just had to, you know, open the stuff, cry about it, and and then, oh my God, I'm about to cry again. Why? Why am I like this? So I just figured I would show it and then just be able to convey my appreciation through camera and not just through like email or DM or something like that. Cause usually when people send me something, I go message them, but I also want the appreciation to be conveyed this way as well. I just don't want to cry on camera no more. Cause I feel like when I do, a lot of people see that it's because I'm appreciative, but a lot of negative people say stuff too. Like I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I know I have to be authentically me, but so let's do it. I got this hair blow dryer from Miss Kim. It's a Con Air hair blow dryer. She said, hi Kia, I hope all is well. I wanted to send you something to encourage you to keep creating more content. Tis the season for soups, stews, and chilies, period. I hope this helps and I hope you like it. Love, love you babe, Miss, this is a hair blow dryer. But love you, babe, Miss Kim. I absolutely love it. And you already know I'm about to be using it. You already know. Then I got, and she sent me just such a beautiful message. Such a beautiful message with this, but. Oh, I'm about to put it on the box. There's a big box over here, a really heavy one that I didn't open yet. I went back on the side to the car to get um, my camera. So I got some nails. Some nails and some uh it looked like some breakage some anti-breakage cream and this is from miss lucretia she sent me some nails these and these are so pretty and these and then she sent me some breakage cream, some mango breakage cream for my hair. Thank you, sweetie. She sent me a nice long letter, which I read already. And some verses, some Bible verses, which I read. And then I got some clothes from Rainbow. So I feel like that I want to um, try on the clothes and... Um, and make like a whole video. I don't know if I should. I can at least open them and show y'all and then do a try on next video. Or I'm, I think I'm just going to do it in the next video. And trust me, the next video is going to be like tomorrow. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to push these out. But I don't know who this is from. I got some cute stuff. Thank you. Let's see. Um, uh, I don't see. I don't see who it's from yet. Mm. No, I don't see who it's from yet, but we'll figure it out. Let's see. Do it say it? No, because it's straight from Rainbow. So it just has, mm, no, I don't know. If this is from you, let me know so I can thank you. And then there's a box here. So, no. 
You can open the box with me. Hopefully it don't make me cry because I'm tired of crying in front of a bunch of people who hate me. And I know a lot of y'all don't, but it's not. It feels weird. I don't want to cry no more. I'm tired of it. I'm tired. Oh, this is the acrylic um, nail set. This is the acrylic nail set that, um, nothing up, but I'm pretty sure her name was Cindy, but I don't know why I can't find the email. I don't know what Gmail we doing with these emails, but I ain't gonna open it now, but let me tell you what's in there. Cause she was saying, she sent me a video. I'm pretty sure her name was Cindy. King. I don't know. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But um, she sent me a video of a YouTuber who showed you a new technique of putting your press ones on, but with like acrylic. And I'm excited to try that. So, Cindy, I'm pretty sure it's Cindy. I have to be more confident. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so freaking sweet. I am about to clean up this mess. I'm so happy. We're not about to do this. We're not about to get into crying. And I don't want to make a habit and every video is me opening P.O. boxes. I hope you understand. Like, like if you're one of those people who did send me something or will send something in the future, I just want you to know you don't have to send me anything if you don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable with it. Um... The comment I got earlier actually made me want to delete my P.O. box because if people are going to find a negative in everything, I would personally rather do without the negativity, but um, I know life, you go going to have it. I just want to grow. I just want to, I, I, I'm ready to be out of the darkness. I'm so close. I'm so close. So, it's time for me to pop these nails off and get to doing this room. Put on something comfortable and just clean. I'm going to give myself, it is 12.19. I'm going to give myself to three to be done with everything. Um, actually, it doesn't take long at all to change around my room. My room is small and it don't take long to do any of this, so. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for helping me. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Callie. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. Cynthia sent... I, I'm talking about thank you, Cynthia. I didn't show y'all what Cynthia sent. Cynthia sent a his and hers robe for me and PJ. We about to be so... We about to be bougie. He already bougie, but... He's going to love it. I'm about to call him and tell him about it right now. Thank you so much, Cynthia. And whoever sent the rainbow stuff, um, let me know. Let me know. I am. I, th I, I really think I should edit this video so I can be able to, ready to put it up later today. Because today is Friday. And I want to be able to, I ain't going to be able to have it done. I ain't going to go lie to myself. Maybe tomorrow morning. But, um. Thank you so much. Now remember, if you want to um, buy, I'm going to, you know what? I should have showed y'all. I'll show you in the next vlog what the the YouTube shirts are going to look like for the black on the black and the white. I'm only going to do them on a black and a white shirt. So disregard whatever I said in the last one about it being you can get different colors. I'm only going to do the YouTube shirts on a black shirt or a white shirt. I really want to only want to do it on black because it just looked better on black. The colors just look more vibrant. But a lot of people want white shirts. So I'm only going to do them on a black or a white shirt. I'm going to press them myself um, to the girly who ordered the shirt I had on Teespring, um, DM me and I'll send you one of these shirts for free. I'll send it to you because you already paid for one from the Teespring account and this design is different. So just DM me and I will ship you one out 
you'll be the first the first one I make. These shirts are gonna go for forty five because um, I'm poor, and if I can sell two hundred of them, I might be able to I might be able to catch myself up until at least January. So that's the goal, y'all. Let's sell a hundred shirts. And um, I'll show y'all what the shirts look like. I need to be showing you what the shirts look like in this vlog. But um, I ain't got no shirts. I got to go to Michael's and I got to do a lot. And I got to really get this room done. I'm about to go. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Like my video. My, my likes are going down, but my views are up. Like my video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. A lot of people are watching, but not subscribed. And um, I just want to say thank you to my riders. Thank you for being my friends. Y'all are my friends. So thank you for riding with me. And if you watch me and you hate me, you are, in fact, a rider.